we're on our way home and a customer who has a plant in Oregon called me up and said, hey, my laser printer is not etching on the bag. I'm, I'm sending the data, but it's not getting there. Can you help me? <clears throat> my technician's driving. I've got a new laptop with a new cell phone card in it, cell card. I open up the open up the computer. Cybersecurity was a little thinner back then. Logged on to their VPN that they gave me. They gave me access to certain areas. I logged on to the VPN. I wanned over from Connecticut to where I live, to um, Oregon. And because it was a system I put in, I recognized what IP addresses should be what. I started pinging around for the laser. I started pinging around for the PLC. And I got to a point where I could segregate. There was a switch that was bad. So I'm doing this driving 70 miles an hour, I'm sorry, 65 miles an hour down down the highway. Um, and um, In the passenger seat. This in the passenger seat, yes. In the yes. passenger seat. <laughs> um, and I got to a point where I, I'm on the line with the guy and I and I have my, my other cell phone, my cell phone cell phone in my hand talking to him. And I tell him, I said, there's a little gray box on the, on, the, on the bagger. Go open it up and see if there's lights on in it. He opens it up, there's not. Um, he... I said, go to your office. Do you have any like Link 6 switches or anything like that? He goes, yeah, we got a spare one in a drawer. It's like an eight port. I said, perfect. So, um, so he grabbed an extension cord, plugged the Link 6 uh, switch into the um, into the extension cord, unplugged all the Cat 5s, plugged it in. I said, try it again. Wham, started working. He was able to uh, start running his product again. Driving down the highway, Within 15 minutes, I solved the problem across the continent using a combination of ITOT structure. 